Well, y'all, we're here in Ohio, um, bow hunting this week, and I didn't do much vlogging when we first got here, uh, because we got here and we were running all over the place, putting batteries and uh, cell cameras, putting up solar panels, which was not really exciting, so I didn't really do any sort of vlogging during there, but I got some great footage today. Um, filmed a lot of good bucks and we're going to show you some of that and uh, going to put the cameras to charge got a lot of good footage a lot of good footage, seen a lot of good bucks um, and probably an 8 pointer that I would have probably slung an arrow at if I had the room but I didn't because like I said I was in the camera stand and um it's just tight up there, real tight. I'm tucked in there really good with a lot of brush around me, so that way I've got the freedom to move the camera around without getting busted. Andy, obviously down below, um, a little to the left, so that way uh, I can film over his right shoulder. But uh, he asked me, he looked up and was like, hey, you wanna shoot that eight? And I was like, yeah. If I could've, maybe. Um, but the thing is, I'm glad I didn't because Pretty Boy, which is about 180 inch, 190 inch buck, came down the hill and was standing right on the edge. So when Andy was asking me, he said, hey, do you want to shoot this buck? And I was like, yeah, I was looking. And then I turned and looked, and there Pretty Boy was, standing just as pretty as could be. And, uh, he didn't, I mean, the wind was perfect. He didn't sense anything about us being there or nothing he was just kind of hanging out and he was watching a couple bucks spar in the bottom and then for no reason he just turned around and started easing on up the hill so we'll see what happens tomorrow i think tomorrow we're going to go get back in the hedgerow stand uh if we go to the hedgerow we'll probably just take andy's Raven again. Now if we go to Janice's stand, Baby Everest, the schoolhouse, Ben's Knob, the original stand, or any of those, then I can tote my bow with me and I got a good chance of slinging an arrow from the camera stand. And so that's kind of how we're doing this week. So I'm filming him, trying to go after Pretty Boy, um, and there's two other bucks. Um, split G2 it's gone down a little bit this year I think he's hurt um, so he's lost probably 15 20 inches I don't know I hadn't seen him Andy said he saw him on camera but I haven't um, we haven't seen stickers yet we haven't seen um, the heavy high eight so we don't we don't know exactly where those bucks are right now and so there's about three shooters that Andy's going after and there's a handful of them that I wouldn't mind taking um, that's just below what Andy wants to kill. So if I see one of those bucks, which are still 160, 170 inch bucks, um, I'm gonna let it fly. Uh, he's looking for 170 plus. So um, basically I'm gonna be running the cameras. If one of those monsters come in, we're gonna smack them. Um, if one of these nice mature bucks that I would like to kill come in, then essentially he's going to toss me the raven. I'm going to sling an, a bolt. Or if we get in one of those stands, then I will tote the bow and sling an arrow. I would love to kill the buck with my bow rather than the raven. Oh, the raven's not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. Nothing against it. I just love shooting my bow. So, but anyways... We're going to get these cameras charged up, guys, and I guess enjoy this footage or these videos that I got, and um, you'll see most of this footage next season on a TV show, and tomorrow uh, we'll see if we can't do a little bit better vlogging for you guys and have another video up here in the next day or so.